Do me a favor, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Why? It's because I said so. Okay. You... Listen. Stop. 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 When I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm thirsty, I drink. And if I'm hurting, I'll say something. Should... Man, we live in a civilization where things aren't free. You didn't come in here and steal yesterday? Entitled Karen caught shoplifting and ends up in handcuffs. Have you ever seen someone's sense of entitlement lead them straight into trouble? Watch as a woman's belief that the rules don't apply to her results in a dramatic arrest. Get ready for a thrilling look at how her shoplifting spree ends with a surprising twist. Let's start with this 23-year-old shoplifter who thinks she can steal without consequences. On May 31st, 2024, law enforcement officers were dispatched to a Dollar General store in response to a report of an ongoing shoplifting incident. The situation involved a 23-year-old woman and a male accomplice, both of whom were accused of stealing merchandise from the store. Upon arriving at the scene, officers were informed by the store employees that the suspects had taken various items, including candy and snacks. The employees provided descriptions of the suspects, who were then located by the officers a short distance away from the store. The suspects were identified as having recently exited the store with stolen goods. I need to figure out what they did. I need to figure out what they did. It's not male and female. They're walking up exchange right now. What'd they do? Huh? What'd they do? Stole stuff out of my store. Walking down that way? Yeah, they're walking right there. That's why I'm standing here. Take a picture of them. Okay, what'd they take? Over you want to come down and sign charges? Yep. Okay, well, I saw pictures of you guys coming I from did. the dollar store. Did you guys take stuff without paying for it? I gave her head nod, she gave me a head back. I mean, a head nod back. Okay, well, they're, now they're calling us saying that you guys took stuff from the dollar store. Really? Yeah. Well, I can, I have to, I... Let's go talk over here so we're out of the street, okay? What did you guys, what did you guys take? This? I guess, no, the lady, I looked at the lady and went like this, and she went like that, and I left, I and mean, we didn't run or anything. Okay, did you guys open that stuff? Did you open it? Well, you want this back? No, not if it's open. I don't have any money on me. That's why we both don't. Okay, I, I understand you guys are coming on hard times, all right? Uh -huh. I just, I'm going to get you guys information, and we'll go from there, okay? My info. Yeah. You guys have warrants? No. You got warrants, man? I don't know. I don't know. Is there any, here, you can have his back if that's the issue. Okay. You got warrants, buddy? Uh, you got warrants? Yeah, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. You, you know what I got to do now, right? All right, just set that stuff down. I'll put you in handcuffs. I'll run. Hey, Ma'am, you're not yes. free to go. Why? I said so. Oh. 22. Ma'am, don't go. Where am I going? I'm going to be out with these nines at Brown and Krause. More so. 85. 85 what? How about you? Huh? Oh. What's, her, what's the issue? She, she, do you want to go back? Well, we're probably going to have to go back. Okay. Do me a favor, set that stuff down. I'm going to run you guys' information. i got to put you in handcuffs, my man. You said you have warrants, right? Don't reach in your pockets. Tell me, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't reach in your pockets, though. So. Turn around for me. The woman initially denied any wrongdoing, but was visibly agitated and confrontational. During the interaction with the officers, she admitted to taking some items, but claimed she had not paid for them due to a lack of funds. You got anything illegal on you? No, I don't. Any meth or anything like that? You don't have to show me. Well, I'm emptying my bra before you touch me. I'm not going to touch you. Oh, okay. I just asked no, you. No, I don't have any more. Okay, pull your shirt back. Can I get my chips back, please? I'm trying to go to um, my house, which is on, on Herbert? Yeah. So you guys went to the Dollar General I store? I just grabbed some. I just swear to God that the tall lady at the register looked at me like that. Okay. As the situation escalated, the woman's behavior became increasingly erratic. She resisted the officer's attempts to place her in handcuffs, leading to a physical struggle. Despite the officer's efforts to maintain order, the woman continued to resist, resulting in additional force being used to restrain her. Stop. 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 Stop pulling away. Your arm back behind your back. Stop. Stop trying to kick. What is wrong with you? I'm... Sit right there. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong? 22, can I have another cruiser? I need to put this female in a different cruiser. Her whip. You pinched the shit out of me. I did? Yeah. Let me see. This was a simple, a simple case. Why you... And now you what made it, it so much harder. What is it? Now you're going to jail. Why? Well, you pinched the shit out of me. You stole from Dollar General. Can I please keep this on and go and get my birthday? It's June 5th. I don't give a shit about your birthday. Knock it off. What am I doing? 
I was trying to go. Stay right there. Don't move. One, two, three. Can you stand up, please? Put your feet in the cruiser. Right, sit down. This reference, uh... Following the altercation, the woman was arrested and charged with theft. The legal process involved determining the severity of her actions and the appropriate penalties. The charges were primarily related to the theft of goods from the Dollar General store. Additionally, the woman faced a probation violation charge, as she was already on probation for a previous offence. What's your name, sweetie? What? I'm trying to talk to you. Alright, what's your name? Why did you do- I'm trying to- what are you- Okay, well you don't need to do all that moving around, so I'm just going to talk to you through the, the window. Okay. okay. What's your name, sweetie? Anna. Anna? Anna, what's your last name? I don't- what is- it's Durfee. Durfee? Yeah. Okay. It's Durfee. Any time that our officers aren't able to, to solely just put somebody in handcuffs, i.e. there's a struggle I've, or use of force. I was sitting on the complaint. curb. Okay, hold on. Okay, I, first of all, here. second of all, you never said you're under arrest. Okay, it doesn't and have then, to, it's implied. Third of all, no, it wasn't implied. It is implied when they tell you to turn around, put your hands behind your back, it's implied that you're under arrest. No. Okay. You, you, whoever grabbed me by the, on the shoulder, all right, Anna, can and I, then... Can I explain to you why I'm here? Yeah. Or finish trying to explain you, to you why I, I'm here? I, I mean, you can't try. Okay. I'm but trying I'm, to, but you I'm can't trying to listen. Can I scoot up and talk to you like a person? Sure, you can. Then why did you slam the door in my face? Well, because face? you've been kicking How'd... and spitting at people and inside this cruiser, so I didn't want to get kicked what? or spit on. I don't want to get but touched and handcuffed happens. for nothing. Okay. Well, you did. So, did you shoplift today? No. You didn't. No, I thought okay. it was a courtesy. You thought it was a courtesy? Yes, because you think I... restaurant or businesses just give out free stuff well, as a courtesy. Well, the the woman on the first register said okay. Okay. That no. To me. You initially told the officer that she nodded at you. Instead okay, so of, man. Alright, so what I'm going right, so to do is I'm going to read you your Miranda warning before I start talking in the first place. Because we're having conversations really, that are like, started to be admissions and, and, and retractions of guilt. So attractions you have the right what? to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. When am I getting charged? Talk to a lawyer and have any member present with you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time. Uh, to exercise these rights. Who am I, what am I getting training. charged they, with? I don't know. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer think... or be appointed to represent you before any question. A lawyer for who? Now yeah. for you at you this point. Do you understand what I just You're good? read to you? No, because you just said it out loud looking around. Okay. Do you know what your Miranda rights are? Or would I... you like me to say them again? Because I will. At, so the, at this point, find me guilty for something I didn't do, you will. I understand that you're talking and you didn't read anything off. You're looking around okay. looking at me. You're right, because I'm, I'm quoting them from memory. That's good. I haven't ate them in a while, I was chilling. I would swear to God I haven't had these in a while. Fritos, if I wasn't chilling, they would be a different kind or something stupid. And I'm sorry that, I, well, I'm not sorry for something like that. I was on the way to my house okay. with myself. So did you take those items from the store? No, it's like the chips. Where'd you get the, where'd you get like the chips from? I don't know why I'm stressing about it. Okay, Anna, where did you get oh, the chips from? Oh, and the ginger ale, yeah, well, what about them? Where did you get those items from? Um, I don't know, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Did you assume that you me. paid for them? The first register is no stop. It was real. I don't know. I am hungry and I didn't want anything, but I don't know. So you, you, you said that you, you paid for them in a, in a fashion other than like, money. Like store credit. Store credit? Yeah, Do you have credit I mean, in an open line of credit with I mean, the store? I, I, the is where I The male accomplice was charged solely with theft. The legal proceedings for both individuals included court appearances where their actions were reviewed and appropriate sentences were decided. The woman's resistance and physical altercation with the officers were noted, but she was not charged with additional offences related to the assault on law enforcement. Uh, no, I, I cannot. Okay, well, that, that's my shit. I understand. The, the drink and the Fritos, I, I like the chips. I get that. But you didn't pay for them, you just took them. No, so I the didn't. store... So the store called oh. and said that you guys shoplifted those items from the store. And then the officer found you down here around the corner. Wait, where? Right here where we're standing. No, we're or where, you, where you're sitting. Actually, you guys were standing right there. Can I tell you my agenda for you guys? Hold on one second. Let me finish, let me finish my conversation with you first. Okay. So he asked you guys to stop what you did and began asking you questions about coming from the store or not. And not the one you would ever think I would be walking with. I'm on the way to my house. I'm chilling. 
just have my shoes. I want to walk around with shoes and wear You're right. Okay, yeah. so here's where I'm just going to fast forward to the point here. Uh, when the officer told you to turn around. Maybe he should have ran my name to see if I had any warrants, then told me to put my hands behind my back. Okay, that's not the, the I, I appreciate your perspective on how law enforcement should work. Well, we don't need to run people. how it works. We don't need to check people for warrants before they're placed under arrest. He said for, he had warrants. For a completely separate offense. I don't know what you're talking about, but he he personally said I warrants yes. All right, so then let's got, start from point I'm A. I'm standing there. And you I was guys there, then, took property from a store what? without paying for it. The store called. He and not the store. You. you you admitted. The first register lady looked at me and said, "Well, didn't say anything. It was just more so like you're good." Does that mean that you can just take anything that you want? And to me, it was more like I got like. Okay, well, it's illegal to take things without paying. Well, how do I pay something? I don't even have a, but clearly, I, I don't have a knife or anything. So like clearly, you guys were in a position where you just took advantage of the situation. I was sleeping last night. I just woke up without... Look how I look. Like, I have nothing to hide and I wouldn't right, put so anything else So fast forward back to the part where you, you said that uh, said the I, officer used unreasonable force to get you in handcuffs. Yeah, a little bit. What unreasonable force did he well, use? Well, first he didn't tell me what I did. The woman's actions violated several Florida laws concerning theft and resisting arrest. Specifically theft, as stated in Florida statutes, paragraph 112 14. Under Florida law, theft is defined as knowingly obtaining or using someone else's property with the intent to deprive them of it. The penalties for theft can vary based on the value of the stolen property. Since the value of the stolen items in this case was relatively low, the offense would likely be classified as petite theft, a misdemeanor. The maximum penalty for a first-degree misdemeanor theft is up to one year in jail and or a fine of up to $1,000. And most importantly, resisting arrest without violence as per Florida statutes. Paragraph 843.02, resisting an officer without violence occurs when a person intentionally refuses to cooperate with law enforcement or obstructs their efforts without using physical force. This offense is classified as a misdemeanor of the first degree, punishable by up to one year in jail and or a fine of up to $1,000. In this case, the woman's resistance, including physical struggle, was documented, which could have compounded her legal troubles. Seems like this woman just landed herself in hot water. But this is not the worst case. Just wait until you see this next one. On August 3rd, 2023, Safeway employees contacted the police regarding an ongoing shoplifting incident involving a known shoplifter. The suspect, identified as Kelsey Zowell, had previously stolen $800 worth of groceries from the store. Surveillance footage from the day before showed Zowell leaving the store with a large cart full of groceries without paying. Hey, you're bad. I always call you bad. No, it's okay. She's still on there. Yeah, she's out okay. of late right now. Did she steal any? So she just steal it today. Today, no. So what's your plan? What do you do? Um, so I definitely want her on um, trust pass. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and I have, like, the camera footage pulled up from yesterday, too. Okay. And it's a massive cart. It's $800 plus. Okay. And then on the 23rd... Did she just walk out with it? Did she scan items? Yeah, no, she just walked out. Okay. Uh, yesterday. With that, like that one? That yeah. Part. Yeah. She just walked out with it. Okay. Um, and then on the 23rd, I called you guys because she... She didn't steal anything that day, but she was she was going to. And I scanned it all out. It was like 7.35. She left it over there. Um, the officer who came in said, which I understand, like, there's nothing really you guys can do about that. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I know she's going to steal. Okay. So I absolutely want her trespass. I don't... Oh, that's her. That's her down at the floor. Okay. She saw us. Yeah. Wait, so... Just want to trespass? We'll get her identified and figure it out. Upon arrival, officers located Zoll inside the store. The police were informed that Zoll had not committed theft on the day of their visit, but they reviewed footage from the previous day which confirmed the theft. So yesterday, sounds like you walked out with quite a bit of cart of groceries. I did? Yeah. No. No? No. Okay. Well, right now, you're going to be detained until oh, I figure okay. it out. I love you. Yeah, at, at a minimum, you're getting trespassed from the store. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. And then if you're on video stealing, you better not lie to me. 
You understand? You I'm better not lie to me. I might be. <laughs> you might be lying to me? Where we have the female defense. Mm -hmm. You got Good. warrants? I might, I don't know. You got ID on you? I don't. Babe, I love you. You can go. You can go. I love you. My name is also Z-O-S-E-L. Sorry, spell it again. Z-O-S-E-L. What's your uh, middle initial? A. Date of birth? 5289. I love if you. If you have a warrants, what, they're, what are they for? The store management requested that Zoll be trespassed from the premises and charged accordingly. During the police interview, Zoll admitted to the theft, but was also found to have outstanding warrants related to organized retail theft. The officers decided to detain Zoll and confirm her identity. Last of Zebra, Ocean Sam, Edward Lincoln. First of Kelsey, King, Edward Lincoln. Sam, Edward Young. Middle A, Adam, 5, 2 of 89. I know, baby, I love you so much. Let's take her around the corner. Like, enough. Sorry. Yeah. What was that? There's usually benches back here by the pharmacy. Uh -oh. Yeah, you just stay in with us. If you want to pull a video up, that way we can confirm it. Either way, she's got a felony and misdemeanor warrants. I do? Yep. Organized yeah. retail theft. Oh, look at that. You're even wearing the same clothing. And that's why I don't know if there's anything to do about that. That was the other night. Okay. That's her fatty cart. That's the one from that night. Okay. I'd like that I don't have that's whatever, but that's yesterday. So, do you want to pursue charges for that? She's got a whole bunch of warrants. Yeah. yeah, you do. Despite her attempts to downplay the incident, the evidence from the store's surveillance cameras and her previous criminal record led to her arrest. The police advised her of her rights, including the right to a lawyer and the implications of her statements. She was informed that she would face new charges and be booked for her existing warrants. And then you're looking at potential charges from yesterday, as long as it sounds like the video lines up. Um, I don't know the exact dollar amount, whether that's gonna be a misdemeanor or a felony. It sounds like you had a cart full of stuff. So the cutoff for the felony is 750 bucks. It sounds like what you had in that cart was pretty close. So we'll see. Either way, it's gonna be a, uh, a new charge and then you're gonna get booked on your your warrants tonight. I'm gonna get another charge though? Potentially, yeah. For yesterday. You might want to have a talk with your getaway driver and have them not park in a fucking handicapped spot. <laughs> yeah, stage three. So I am going to jail then? Oh yeah, yeah, for the for the warrants at a minimum. I mean we can't we can't walk away from a felony organized retail theft warrant. So she came out from like checking her getaway. So that's it, 609 enters. She's gonna grab her cart. She's looking over here the entire time. Is her cart already full? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. she's already shopped, so. Yeah. She enters the store at some point, grabs a cart. She's just kind of trying to make sure that no one over here. The registers are on the other side. She's clearly looking around. Can you at least when we go, when we drive down, can you at least put them in the front? We, no, we can't. They have, they have to be in the back. We could, we could potentially change you over to chain cuffs instead of the hinged ones. Those are a little more comfortable, but we'll see. Okay, Kelsey. So I'm to read you this real quick, okay? If you have the right to be silent, anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you for questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights that I've explained? Isn't that down by the grocery outlet? Yeah, somewhere on are you staying in a shelter, or just, is that where you stay? No, it's like, I live at, yeah. You live at, okay. And then, so why are you coming out to Cheney to steal? I don't live, we're out at the lake. Which lake? Silver. Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. Following her arrest, Zoe was charged with shoplifting and trespassing. The case was referred to the prosecutor to determine whether the theft would be classified as a misdemeanor or felony based on the value of the stolen goods. Additionally, Zoll's existing warrants for organized retail theft were set to be addressed during her court appearance. Yeah. Well, I mean, you stole yesterday. You stole $800 worth of stuff, it looked like. A pretty full cart. That's what they're guesstimating. Have you seen the cost of anything? No way, $800, there's no way. Well, there's a good chance it is. Right Are now, without, right a, without a receipt, I'm gonna charge you with that third. Yeah, I'm not going to charge. Yeah, it's going to be a misdemeanor because I can't substantiate the the full felony. But right. you're on camera walking out without paying with a cart full of stuff. Right. I mean, do you refute that at all? What do you mean? 
Yeah. Are you disagreeing with that yesterday? What happened? Was that pretty much what happened? You came in, loaded up a cart, and left? Um, no. That's not what happened yesterday? I don't know. You didn't come in here and steal yesterday? I don't know. You don't know? Alright, yeah, close, yeah, close, oh, close yeah. to it. Close to it. Well, actually. Alright. I don't know what I'm supposed to say to you. I don't know how I'm going to talk to you. Well, you're right here. I mean, you want to tell me why you stole yesterday? You're on camera. It's definitely you. I'm just going through it. I, I don't have any money. I don't have anything. I, I'm hungry. Alright. Well, they want to they wanna pursue charges. So, I'm going to refer that to the prosecutor for that. And you're going to get booked on your warrants tonight. Get a drink water or something? Uh, no. I think the jail will have to take care of that. Okay. Now, were your cuffs bothering you to the point where you need to chain, chain yes, cuffs yes. instead? All right, stand up. Under Florida statutes, theft of property valued at over 750 is governed by Chapter 812, which addresses theft, robbery, and related crimes. Specifically, Section 812.014 outlines the penalties for theft based on the value of the stolen property. If the value of the property is between $750 and $20,000, it is classified as a third-degree felony, carrying potential penalties of up to five years in prison and fines up to $5,000. Additionally, trespassing after being prohibited is generally classified as a first-degree misdemeanor under Chapter 810, punishable by up to one year in jail and a fine up to $1,000. All right, let's move to this last woman who named Honesty was arrested for shoplifting. On January 26, 2022, a woman was apprehended for shoplifting at a family dollar store. Store management alerted the police after observing her and an accomplice tampering with security tags on merchandise. When officers arrived, they discovered that the woman was concealing stolen items in her bra, while her accomplice had electronic security tags hidden in his sock. You guys doing okay? Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay, uh, well, we got uh, we got a call here. Okay, we got a call here from management, and, um, you know, they said that they... Uh, have you guys been uh, trying to uh, take the, the tags off the, the clothes? No, sir, no, no. Okay. That's no, no, no. it, no, 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 my name's Chris Baker, Officer Baker, okay? You have something in your sock that you shouldn't have. We tell you not to do anything dumb, all right? The business wants you trespassed, okay? And then you start trying to hide it in your hands and everything else. All recording. Okay, that's fine. Okay? My money. Under, yeah, so we can work through that. Don't be dumb, is it's what I'm trying to case. say. Ma'am, you're going to walk with this officer? I'm going to pat him down. He's concealing in his pocket and trying to get stuff out. Or the sock. Get him to you and then pat him down properly. Stand right here, buddy. Twinkie things. Was that in her pockets in her clothes? Yeah, it was in her pockets. This belongs to him. Right. Yeah. And then this. The cash belongs, belongs to him. Yeah. That was in her pockets? Yes, it was in her pockets. Yeah. What she is says it's from here. It their is underwear? Their kids' underwear. This, I don't know what it is. This is from here also, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're going to get a citation as long as you don't do anything stupid. And you're going to go about your business. Yeah. Okay? My brother just needed some underwear. And we'll figure through this, but I like I said, you have more clothing in your bra? You have any drugs? Any other drugs on you that I need to know about? Mm -hmm. we'll sure. Okay. We'll get it out over here, okay? Go ahead and yeah, take that. Okay, sir. Upon their arrival, the police were informed of the suspicious behavior by the store staff. The officers confronted the suspects, leading to a search of their persons. The male suspect was found with security tags in his sock, which he had tried to hide. The woman, identified as Honesty, was found with additional stolen items concealed in her bra. Despite being instructed not to interfere, she continued to obstruct the police by attempting to hide more items and providing misleading information. No, we're not, not right now, but yes. We're gonna walk to the front door. We're gonna walk to the front door. I appreciate your honesty. Do you have any wants or warrants I need to be aware of? No. Okay. I need to read you something. I want you to pay attention, okay? You're under arrest at this point. 
for shoplifting, for your own admission. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have one represented or appointed to you before any questioning, if you wish. At any times, you can exercise these rights and not answer any of my questions. You understand these rights as I've explained? Yeah. Good. Where did you guys, how did you guys get here? Um, uh, my friend dropped me off. Was they going to pick you back up when you called them or text them? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and put them in mine. Love you, baby. Thank you. Tell my dad, buy me out, baby. Talk to okay. Go ahead and have a seat. It's just not necessary. If you guys would have just talked to us and done what we asked, you guys would have received a criminal trespass warning and gone about your business. None of this would have happened, but his actions dictate this. Okay? What's your first name, young lady? Honesty. What is it? Honesty. H-O-N-E-S-T-Y? Last name? A-L-V-A. Okay. What's his name? Um, your boyfriend. Wanna, you wanna look at him do all that? He's gonna do it too, but what's his name? I'm asking you because you're with him. Your boyfriend. Okay. You well, you're obstructing an investigation at this point. This yes. one you can go to jail because I'm asking you information relative to why I'm present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of him identifying himself, you helping me to show, because I have it on camera, you guys are together, you calling him baby. I want to verify your, your guys' story. The police proceeded to handcuff the woman and informed her of her rights, including the right to an attorney and the right to remain silent. During the search, she made several attempts to kick hidden items away, which further complicated the investigation. I don't understand why I'm Have a seat. In for have a seat, please. Please have a seat. Thank you. No, but can you explain that to I will here in a minute. Okay. Hey, one three central. Okay, if there's anything left in here, you alter anything. There is also a camera running. Okay, if you alter anything that's tampering with evidence, that's a fourth degree felony. Are you gonna have to take it up with the judge again? Yeah, that's very weird. Yeah, yeah. The judge. It was municipal. Oh, so it was a magistrate. What is municipal? Municipal court. Yeah, it's the city court. Okay. Do you have an uh, outstanding case pending? Mm -hmm. For like a traffic stop or shoplifting or something? Mm -hmm. Probably a previous shoplifting, I'm just gonna guess, right? Under Florida statutes, paragraph 812, not 014, shoplifting is categorized based on the value of the stolen property. Petty theft involves property worth less than $750 and is classified as a second degree misdemeanor, punishable by up to 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. Grand theft, involving property worth $750 or more can lead to more severe consequences, including up to five years in prison and a $5,000 fine, depending on the amount stolen. In addition, according to Florida statutes, paragraph 843.02, resisting an officer without violence is a misdemeanor that can result in up to one year in jail and a $1,000 fine. The woman's attempts to hide evidence and mislead the officers fell under this category of obstructive behavior. Finally, as outlined in Florida Statutes Paragraph 918.13, tampering with evidence is a third degree felony. This offense is punishable by up to five years in prison and a $5,000 fine. The woman's actions, including hiding stolen items and attempting to destroy evidence, led to additional charges under this statute. All right, fellas, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and educational contents in the future. Thanks for your support.